Aikido and Body Control, the Right Tension and Balance System. We have seen the importance of breathing in Aikido and its relationship with the body and with the mind. Let us now see in more detail the importance of the physical body and its function in our martial practice. Let's start by way of introduction by looking at the relationship between structure and function in biology. There is a complementary relationship between the form, that is, the structure, and the function. This is a characteristic of nature and it applies to all objects, things and organisms. The ancient Taoists observed this interdependence and described the principle of yin and yang, which is applicable to everything that exists. Two opposing forces that complement each other to form a whole. Yin is substance, it is form, it sustains, contains and feeds, it represents matter. It's the contraction, the gravity, it is the image of the earth. Yang is function, movement, action, protection, it represents energy. It is the expansion, the radiation, it is the image of heaven. But these are not absolute concepts, they are relative and are in constant transformation. Matter is transformed into energy. The energy materializes. Yin becomes yang and yang becomes yin. The cell, the tissues, the organs and the organism as a whole present a functional part and a supporting part, its physical structure. Always maintaining a balance between two forces, one that pulls out and the other in. This dynamic produces tension and compression, and the relationship between the two generates the right muscular tension and postural balance. We can call it integrated tension or simply tense gritty. Generalizing, we can understand tense gritty as a dynamic system formed by a continuous field in tension that is found surrounding islands or discontinuous components in compression. We will see this in more detail later. So, this just tension is the balance between two opposing forces, tension and compression. All structures, from an artifact created by human intelligence or a life form that evolved by natural selection over millions of years, present a balance between two opposing and complementary forces. As we have seen in other deliveries, the physical universe is polarized, it can move, transform and evolve through the action of these two forces. As we understand nature and ourselves, as part of it, we observe that the same pattern is repeated everywhere. In this model of a universe organized in scales or hierarchies, the infinitely large, like galaxies, and the infinitely small, like atoms, present the same dynamics, the same balance of forces, expansion and contraction. And in the middle of the scale, between the big and the small, is the cell, representing the physical body, which can also be considered a system with tensional integrity. The extracellular matrix is also included in the cellular tense gritty system. The extracellular matrix is the medium that surrounds cells. It is a viscous substance made up of extracellular materials that together with the cells make up the different types of tissues. Muscle, bone, skin, connective tissue and fascia. This forms a true tension network whose importance in tone and balance is fundamental. In turn, the tissues form organs and the organs form systems or apparatus, such as the digestive, genitorinary, respiratory, cardiovascular, nervous, glandular, locomotor, and the set of these organs and systems, make up the physical body in its entirety. Different levels of complexity, communicated with each other and expressing the same dynamics of forces. The human body forms a self-modeled system of tense gritty, 
the bones, discrete or discontinuous elements, compressed, raised against the force of gravity and in balance with the tensed muscle fascial network that interconnects and supports the structure. Fascia is a banded network of connective tissue that wraps around every internal part of the body from head to toe, fusing everything together. It allows muscles to move freely alongside other structures and reduces friction. We can describe the fascia as a continuous body tissue, which fulfills the role of a tension network. It contains, communicates, conducts information, protects and tenses the structure. Let's go back to the dynamic principle of contraction and expansion. The bones fulfill the role of support and anchorage of the mobile structure. They represent the yin aspect, the compressive, solid force that pulls inwards. The system of tendons, muscles and fascia play the role of tensing the structure, providing it with a fair tone that allows its optimal functioning and balance. They represent the yang aspect, the expanding, mobile force that pulls outward. This integrated tension system forms a functional unit. We see the importance of muscle tone in movement and posture balance. Muscle tone is a state of physiological tension that muscles constantly present, in order to keep these tissues active but without generating movement. Muscle tone is maintained by many structures, particularly the nervous system, such as the cerebellum, the extrapyramidal system, whose function is the automatic control of muscle tone and the associated movements that accompany voluntary movements, and, of course, is involved also the voluntary motor system. It is important that the muscle tone is unaltered so that the body can move properly and balanced. This state of just tension is developed and maintained through continuous training. Master Morihei Ueshiba said about it, The purpose of training is to tense what is loose and relax what is hard. And this is because the training in martial arts, and in our case, in Aikido, emphasizes relaxation, in the context of a strong and vigorous practice. It is in this way that the energy of the practice accumulates in the body, and it is so mainly in this system of integrated tension. Of course, the breath and the unified mind are involved. Without this unity of body, breath, and mind, energy is dissipated and lost. Bones accumulate qi. In fact, there is an internal qi gong, whose practice, through movements, breathing and visualizations, treasures the energy in the bones, cultivating the bone marrow, the essence and the vitality. Energy also accumulates in the fascia, in the form of layers, after hours and hours of training. In the same way it does in the tendons, and in particular in the union with the bones. This treasured kinetic energy is an extraordinary reserve of qi, available to optimize the functioning of the body, mobility, speed, reaction and strength. To increase the defensive capacity against blows and aggressions of all kinds. To balance the posture without tension, allowing a relaxed and calm attitude, but maintaining a state of just tension that allows instant action. This state of fair or integrated tension is semi-conscious. It is a state of unification and relaxed attention, which keeps the system prepared, but without extra stress or wear. One of the main properties of tense gritty is the ability to dissipate forces and distribute them among all the parts that make up the system, instead of concentrating them on the one that receives them directly. This is a fundamental principle of reflexology. Another important point is that self-balancing systems consume less energy. In nature, evolution tends towards optimization, 
greater functionality, that is, dynamic equilibrium, with less energy expenditure. The state of the soft tissues, muscles, tendons, fascia and ligaments, which represent the tension system, also depends on the state of the internal organs, particularly the liver and spleen. The bones, the support system in compression, depend on the energy of the kidneys. In turn, the fair and balanced tension of the muscle tendon system strengthens and protects the internal organs. Information travels both ways. The mind moves energy and affects matter. Energy and matter interchange without ceasing. In tense gritty, the structure is considered as a complete integrated unit, capable of distributing forces in all directions and rebalancing itself. Thus, it can be understood how the stimuli or changes applied in an area also have effects at a distance. Without a certain degree of tension and without a certain pressure, life is not possible. The cell depends on its shape and structure to develop and live. The form, in turn, is maintained and generated by the function. Structure and function, two aspects of a single reality. So, the best way to maintain health and prevent disease, and in many cases cure it, is with pressure and stretching. The regular practice of Aikido, Qi Kung, massages and other related disciplines favor this purpose. It is clear that Aikido is not a health method, but as a health method it is very effective. It is about applying energy and information in the right direction. This generates knowledge and power. The heart unifies and commands. Without his energy any effort is useless. Without love, life is barren. Without heart there is no spirit. Keep on training and progressing, always. Thanks for following our videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, it helps us spread the knowledge.